Well, speaking at Asia's biggest security conference in Singapore, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky thanked Washington for allowing Kiev to use its high-mobility artillery rocket system in the Kharkiv region. However, the Ukrainian president added it is not enough to assist Kiev on the battleground. Furthermore, Zelensky claimed that Russia is using Chinese influence to disrupt Ukraine's peace motives. We are thankful, and this is public information. We are thankful to President Biden that they have recently allowed us to use Hamas in Kharkiv region against bordering territory. Is this enough? No. I've mentioned an example before, the airfields from which Russia bombs Ukraine, knowingly that Ukraine won't bomb them in response, we don't have the systems to do so. Unfortunately, using China's influence in the region, using Chinese diplomats, does everything to disrupt the peace summit. Unfortunately, such a big, independent and powerful country like China is an instrument in the hands of Putin. Germany is also highlighting Ukraine's urgent need of surface-to-air missile systems. German defense chief says Russia is building its own forces in a time frame and that the most dangerous course would be in the year 2029. Well, what, what we see is that um, Ukraine is, um, or needs um, um, air defense and I would say air defense and air defense and of course um, um, artillery ammunition and, and weapon systems to fight against um, Russia in this unprecedented um, attack. Um, Russia, Russia has started in um, 22. Um, I, th I think the situation um, is pressing, is pressing for, for Ukraine. But what we still see there is a, a stalemate um, at the front, at the front line, and not very much movement in there. Till now, Washington restricted the use of its weapons to limited military strikes inside Ukraine, including Crimea and occupied territories. Western nations are concerned that attacking targets across the internationally recognized border with weapons provided by NATO countries will escalate the conflict. However, the latest Russian advance in northeastern Kharkiv region convinced Kyiv's allies that in order to defend itself, Ukraine must be able to destroy military targets on the other side of the border as well.